Welcome back to the Metronome Madness League. We have the Flaming Freak Shows versus the Crazy Crocodiles. Freak Shows start with their combi using double team. But raises evasiveness. The bullet punch from the C dot does a little bit of damage. A conversion two. I've never actually seen that work. Usually it fails. Combi turns itself into the water top. And there goes the Tachyon Cutter, which hits twice. The Psychic coming from the combi. That does a decent amount of damage. A Misty Explosion, oh my gosh. CDOT gonna blow itself up. It does not enough damage to knock out the Combi. Might not have been worth it as CDOT faints there and the Varoom comes out for the crazy Crookedows. The Steel Wing from the Combi, not very effective enough. Super effective, oh, not very effective. Fire Fang, that's right, it's a water type. The Hammer Arm misses. And Varum goes for the Brick Break, which will finish off Combi. Snubble. Out for the Freak Shells. Uses this Intimidate to lower the attack on that Varum. And Terrasalizes itself into the normal type. Now only weak against fighting and immune to ghosts. We'll see what happens. There goes the rock throw. Doesn't do much. Or magma storm, which will be super effective. Does a lot of damage to the Varum. Varum oh, in the red already. There goes the dragon darts from Varum. Not doing a whole lot. Hits twice. A bitter blade coming from the snubble knocks out the Varum. It was a crit. I'm not sure it mattered. The Snubble gets a little bit of health back there, and the Crazy Crookedow's already down two Pokemon. They only have their Poliwhirl left, which did Terrasalize into a Fire-type. That accidentally got cut out from the video. Sorry, there goes the Icy Wind, which is not very effective now. Extra Sensory puts Snubble in the yellow. Snubble chooses to go for a Topsy-Turvy, switching the stats on the Poliwhirl of Thunderbolt. Snubble getting chipped away at. It's getting close to the red there. Polyrobe might actually knock it out. No, it goes for a whirlwind. So Snubble gonna be swapped out here for the Freak Show's final Pokemon, which is gonna be the Charger Bug. The stockpile from the Polyrobe, raising its defenses up. Power Whip would have been super effective, but now not very effective since Polyroll is a fire type. It goes for the slam. Charger Bug avoids that hit and uses the Bar Barrage. Hydro Steam coming from the Polyroll. Doing just a little bit of damage. Charger Bug. Gonna go for a Pain Split. Mm, not the best idea. Looks like it had just a bit more HP than the Polyroll. Almost did nothing. There goes the Shadow Ball, though. Polyroll at half its health. Tries to lower those attack stats by using a tearful look, but the Beard Malice comes out from the Charger Bug. And Polyroll's looking a little worse for wear. There goes the Flame Wheel. Not very effective. Matcha gotcha. Polyroll trying to get some health back here. And that puts Charger Bug in the yellow and gives a little bit of health back to that Polyroll there. There goes the Lunar Blessing. Oh, Charger Bug healing itself up just a bit. The Leafage, not very effective. And the Gigaton Hammer coming from the Charger Buck does absolutely nothing. It, it barely did anything. There goes the Eerie Impulse. Eerie Impulse going to uh, lower the special attacks down on that Charger Buck. And the Cycle Cut hits with a crit. Polyro finally goes down. And Charger Buck helps the Freak Shows come away with their third win.